Hey everyone, Irix Guy here. Now this is a follow-up to my Vantech HX4 external hard disk enclosure series. Now, actually I had several fans provide me with some encouragement to go with a, uh, to stay away from a RAID solution and pursue a different solution instead. Uh, so what I've done now, and you can check out my previous video, I've installed two 4 terabyte serial ATA drives within the Vantech. So that's a total of 8 terabytes. So what I'm going to do now within Mac OS X is open Disk Utility. So to get to Disk Utility, just go to Applications, Utilities, and then launch this Disk Utility icon. What we'll see in here now, we'll see my internal, uh, internal flash memory on my MacBook Air. You can see it's 123.1 gigabyte or gigabit rather to be correct and then you'll see these four these two four terabyte drives so what I want to do is I want to use this physical drive as well as this physical drive and create a spanned array so the product will be that the end product will be that I'll have two physical four terabyte drives but to Mac OS 10 it'll appear as one 8 terabyte drive. So I'm going to hit the RAID tab and I'm just going to call this something really cool like uh, Lord of I don't know, let's think of something really cool Lord of Video Storage Lord of Video Storage. Okay, so that's cool. I'm going to use Mac OS Extended Journal as the format. Now here's where you have various settings. You could do, with within Mac OS X, you could do a RAID type scenario. But what I'm going to do is use spanning, also known as concatenated disk set. Rawr! Concatenated. Rawr! So we're going to go to concatenated disk set. So just to review, you've named your RAID set. You're formatting using Mac OS Extended Journal, which is what I would recommend. Your RAID type is concatenated disk set. Wow! And then you hit this little plus sign down here. So you've added that. And now, what we've actually got to do is add these... Uh, add these two physical disks so we got disk one and we got disk two and see you can see there now it's saying 8 TB 8 terabyte now if I wanted to add more in the future I can and that's the advantage to this uh, this concatenated disk set setup within Mac OS 10 but uh, as money permits, I'll add those, and as the need arises. Right now, I've just got two four terabytes, which is huge. So the next step is to hit Create. And keep in mind, if you had data on these disks previously, you wouldn't want to do this because <laughs> you, would, you would destroy your data. So these are obviously two brand new unused disks, and I'm not going to lose any data. So And, and double-check is a good rule of thumb. Double-check and ensure that you're... Uh, that your disk that you have chosen are the correct ones because you may be in a scenario where you have external hard drives etc connected to your Mac and it would be easy to to rush through this and and drag the incorrect disk uh, thus resulting in data loss so you know always be careful take your time so these are the two correct disk physical disk I'm going to hit create it's creating a partition map creating a RAID set waiting on the RAID to spin up <laughs> BAM now I got 8 terabyte Lord of Video Storage isn't that cool so I've got an 8 terabyte set that I can use in my in my Final Cut Pro and that's what I'm going to use it for I can use within any application for that matter 
it's just a convenient way to to merge multiple physical disks into one large virtual disk so you don't have to say okay well where's my video clip is it on that drive that drive or that drive this way it's all there now uh, just a word of caution here uh, when in, when using multiple disks your probability of failure is enhanced because instead of instead of one physical disk failing you've now in my case got the probability of two physical disks failing or more if you add more so what I would recommend doing and this is actually what I am going to do and why I'm adding these uh, these disks in twos uh, in, my, in the second Vantech HX4 that I purchased I'm going to mirror the drive configuration in it so as you see here in my primary one I've got two four terabyte disks so in my in my second Vantech enclosure I'm also going to add two four terabyte disks and it'll act as a uh, as a backup now there's several ways one can do that and that'll be for another video but uh, what I'm gonna do is use time machine so I'm gonna use time machine to replicate all data from from these two disks to my two disk in my secondary backup Vantech array but this is really cool I couldn't be happier with the ease of setup and and uh, I hope this video is a value for you again this is creating a spanning disk array within Mac OS X, also commonly referred to as a concatenated row, disk set. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's youtube.com forward slash Y'all have a good day.